Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pasnodi Suman, Consultant Pediatrician. I am going to address all the queries regarding the hearing loss in infants and children in my next series of videos. The first among this is newborn hearing screening. Many parents, especially in India, do not have any idea about this. So, I am going to give a detailed information about newborn hearing screening. So, before you bring your newborn baby to the home from the hospital, your baby needs to have a hearing screening. Although most babies can hear normally, 1 to 3 of every 1000 babies are born with some degree of hearing loss. Without newborn hearing screening, it is difficult to detect hearing loss in the first months and years of your baby's life. About half of the children with hearing loss have no risk factors for it. The Indian Academy of Pediatrics and the American Academy of Pediatrics and most countries recommend that all babies should receive a newborn hearing screening before they go home from the hospital. Newborn hearing screening is nothing but checking a baby's hearing soon after birth. It is best done before discharge from the hospital and before one month of age. And it should be done in all newborns, not only those with risk factors. This screening is done using the autoacoustic emission test. In short form is called as OAE test. This is used to find out how well the inner ear is working. There are hair cells in the inner ear that respond to sound by vibrating. These quiet echoes are measured as OAE. They are present if hearing is normal and generally absent if there is a mild or greater hearing loss. This OAE is done by putting a soft tip microphone in the ear, exactly like an earphone and this delivers click sounds into the baby's ear and detect the echoes from the inner ear. Babies must be quiet during this test and for which feeding before the test is enough. This test is quick and painless and done by qualified staff in a hospital or a clinic and it is usually reported as pass or refer. If the result is pass then the child doesn't have any hearing loss and the, if the result is refer then OA is repeated at 6 weeks of age combining it with the ammunition visit. Babies who do not pass the second OAE test and those admitted in the NICU are advised a hearing test called Brainstain Evoked Response Audiometry, nothing but called as BERA. Only few of the babies referred from the screen will have hearing loss and hearing loss cannot be diagnosed in newborns by examination alone. Screening reduces the age of diagnosis of hearing loss to 6 months from 1.5 to 3 years. This allows early intervention which avoids the deleterious effects of hearing loss. So my dear parents, don't forget to get this hearing screening done for your babies. This is all about newborn hearing screening and if you have any further queries, please do ask us in the comment section. And in my coming video, I will be addressing how to suspect an hearing loss in an infant. Thanks for watching.